Neighborhood revitalization plays a critical role in maintaining a community's history and ensuring that communities can grow to welcome new neighbors over time. Tonight's honorees in the neighborhood revitalization category are cultivating a community that builds neighborhoods and supports neighbors. Hirons is proud to be a category sponsor. Here are the 2022 honorees for neighborhood revitalization. The Achievement Award for Neighborhood Revitalization goes to Depot Street Park and Amphitheater. Greenfield's Depot Street Park officially opened June 2022. A project of the Health and Heritage Indiana Stellar Region, the $2.4 million park and amphitheater was funded by a partnership between Greenfield and the INOCRA using local funds and federal CDBG dollars. Context Design, an XBE firm, celebrates the RR history in unique park features. RL Turner Construction managed redevelopment of this brownfield with the help of BCA environmental consultants and the city. The park is drawing new businesses, programming entertainment to attract a diverse audience, and offering recreational opportunities to the nearby neighborhoods who typically lack healthy choices. Congratulations to City of Greenfield, Indiana. The Merit Award for Neighborhood Revitalization goes to 16 Tech Innovation District HQO. HQO, 16 Tech's Innovation Hub, is situated in the heart of the 16 Tech Innovation District in the historic Riverside neighborhood of Indianapolis. The Innovation Hub opened in 2021 and is home to three activity centers including office and incubator space, machine maker space, and the AMP an artisan marketplace and food hall. Originally the headquarters of the Indianapolis Water Company, the building was repurposed to serve as the central gathering place for the 50-acre innovation district. HQO serves as the district's physical access points to drive inclusive opportunities for talent, entrepreneurship and innovation for central Indiana. Congratulations to DKGR. The Honor Award for Neighborhood Revitalization goes to 38th and Sheridan Cook Goodwill. The 38th and Sheridan project sprang from the desire to provide sustainable opportunity to an area of Indianapolis that had seen years of job loss. The focus was on minority participation and community involvement. The project was a partnership between Cook Group, CICF, and Goodwill of Central and Southern Indiana. From the beginning, the project was more than just a construction project. Its focus was on the community. Cook and Goodwill met with not only leaders of the community, but the members of the community, sometimes going door to door listening and talking with those with first-hand experience of the issues that were being faced. An effort was made to understand the situation and the people. The construction project focused on 100% XBE participation, a challenge that had never been accomplished until now. This was not just a check-the-box exercise. The intent was for actual participation. In addition to seeking XBE contractor participation, an emphasis was made for local contractors and labor. This included efforts to hire and train locally, to create not just jobs, but opportunities for skilled trades and a potential career beyond this project. Specifically, the project resulted in 67 new hires in construction-related fields, with 47 of those being diverse. The architectural style was intended to complement the age and feel of the community, creating something that feels like it belongs. This was accomplished by creating a building that blended with the residential area that grew out of the 1950s neighborhood. The 46,700 square foot building will be utilized for medical device manufacturing with temperature, pressure and humidity control for clean manufacturing processes. Eventually, the site will be able to accommodate over 100 manufacturing jobs. 
These aren't just jobs, but opportunities for careers. Employees will be able to continue to further their education as part of their employee benefits, whether that is obtaining a high school diploma or GED through a master's degree. The 38th and Sheridan Project's intent was for revitalization. That intent and purpose was the focus from site selection to the day-to-day -day operation of the manufacturing facility that provides employees continual opportunity today. This project is the definition of revitalization, not just in the physical brick and mortar, but to the emotional well-being of a community. The focus was, and must be, the people and community. Congratulations to Cook Medical.